What's up guys, Suplex Network here, coming back at you again for another video, and today we are going to look at my wrestling figure collection. So first things first, when you walk through the door here, you're greeted by some big lights. We've got a little walkway here. As we walk in, we can see all the figures along this wall. Here is my my setup to be doing animating. Uh, I've done a video on this in the in the past, so go check that out if you want to see my like setup and cameras and whatnot. Over here, we got the Ultimate Edition, the Early Bird Macho Man with the Elite Seventy. Mr. McMahon there set up on the commentary booth got the entrance way there got some figures here You know these ones are like I was in the middle of an animation a match with these two which I just kind of ditched So they're just sitting there some random Lego some wrestling figures that I'm selling so we got like Some MJF's literally three MJF's uh, we got a Kushida random there as you can see Coming back to the shelves here, as you may or may not know, I'm trying to collect every single AEW Jazzwear figure, so here you can see, all lined up, you've got the Supreme Britt Baker, you got Miro, you got Supreme Cody there, the other Cody, Target Exclusive there, very nice, we've got the new Hardcore Champion in an SNA, Eddie Kingston, Elite CM Punk, you know, we've got lots of Red Velvet there, what else you got hiding back there? That exclusive CM Punk, Painmaker, Jericho, a lot of figures back there. Almost all, I think I've got almost every single AEW figure and they go along here as well. As you can see, I'm not going to read them, like name them all because that will take forever. There is so many there, but like Owen Hart. Uh, my Owen Hart figure is sadly like a bit scuffed, a bit broken, so we won't talk about that. It's a bit... Depressing. Sean Spears, really nice figure. You can see here. Got some exclusives. Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone. You got Taz there. Some New Japan figures back there. All of Series 1. Jungle Boy. Up the top here, hidden away, is those Elite Usos behind this beautiful Jericho there. Up the top. I'm going to reach my camera all the way up the top so you can see back there. Lionheart, Jericho. Cool figures, the signed Blu-ray, ECW by Sabu and Rob Van Dam. Ultimate Roman back there. Jade Cargill, signed John Morrison, signed Matt Cona, Cardona. Apollo Crews, damn near touching the roof up here. Then we got more, we got, I believe there's a Bret Hart Elite all the way back there. I'm not sure, I'm sure the camera saw. We got here the Bucks, the very nice figures. Bucks signed. Elite signed all up there with the certificates. Cactus Jack there. Moving down the Attitude Era shelf here. Looking very nice. I've added some razors so you can see all the ones behind them. So you can see Chainsaw Charlie. It's probably one of the most recent I have on this shelf. Um, who else is on there? Um... I don't know, but you can pause and look. DX, all the DX is on there. More AEW figures like slowly trickling down because like these shelves are stacked. Andrade, very nice there. And then all my cruiserweights if you don't count them. So we've got TJP. Brian Kendrick, very nice. And then this is like sort of a raw shelf, but like they do mad things with the drafts and I can't be bothered swapping between Raw and SmackDown. So like... They're not current, it's just like more current roster gu- Oh, pardon me, current roster guys here. Drew McIntyre with a damn sword, a bit crazy there. Um, need to get rid of that, you ain't holding that anymore. You holding that, we will do a little swap there. See, custom Brock Lesnar. Don't need that anymore because I have the real deal here. The new Elite with the ponytail there. Might as well show you this shelf here, you can see just randomness. Got the Bludgeon Brothers, Working Man Otis, just a random old Goldberg there. MVP, one of my few basics I own. I don't own many. King Xavier Woods is very nice. Let's move this light so we can see a bit better. Oh, that's better. 
King Xavier Woods next to King Corbin. Got Kofi there in that nice looking attire. Jinder Mahal back there. Braun Strowman. Um, outdated with hair. That looks a bit weird. Kevin Owens. Sammy Uso. Speaking of Uso, we got all the Usos here. With Paul Heyman and the head of the table, the Tribal Chief. Got Walter. Retribution back there. Cesaro up the back. Cesaro up the front. Yeah, we've got heaps of Usos apparently. we got Om... Omas, Riddle, you know, all the guys, just all the generic, you know, you know their names. I'm not going to say all their names. Here over here we got this edge. Um, I've taken the sleeves off because, like, there's no articulation with the sleeves. It was kind of silly. You got the list of Jericho figure back there. Tyler Bate in the box. Juventu Guerrero. This is my NXT shelf. Very stacked NXT shelf. It's all guys that have... They're probably not all, well, they're obviously not all in NXT anymore, but, like, these are good figures of the NXT look. So you can see, well, the Fashion Police, there was a SmackDown gimmick. But, hey, you can see them all here. The the Rascals, um, what was it? Was the Rascals their NXT tag name? I can't remember. I'm, I can't remember, but, yeah, it's them. Dragonov there, very nice. Bronson Reed, really good figure there. Down here we got Custom Jay White, um, Burnt Fiend, got a Ho Hogan defining moments in Storm collectible. Then we got all my Shawn Michaels elites. Yeah, I'm trying to collect every single one of them so you can see them all there, all lined up. Very nice. We've got a few ultimates, a few basics, a few jacks at the back there. Random. Then over here we got like a Old school era shelf. See Rocky Maivia there. Big Boss Man Chase. A lot of figures. A lot of cool ones. Ultimate there of Undertaker. This elite pole bearer. Very nice. Very hard to find figure. I'm glad I somehow found that. I feel like I just noticed I've got two of the exact same Undertaker on the shelf there. That doesn't matter. Over here, elite of myself. Ultimate Doink. Elite. Kurt Angle, I almost forgot his name. Down here, we've got a Ultimate Shinsuke, Paul Bearer, um, Jack's figure. We've got a shelf of like when I wrestled at the Horsham show. WCW shelf. Now this is probably my problem. Besides the Shawn Michaels, this is pretty bare, but it's got some cool figures on it. I'll just slowly pan across some cool figures there. Very nice, nice indeed. But that is not all. That is these black shelves. But we have over here. Oh, we've got this light. Oh, God, the light is just jumping me. It's attacking me. Help. Shine the light over here. We've got all my Hasbros. Um, haven't bought one in a while, so that hasn't changed. Down here, more of a 2011-2012 era. Very nice Rey Mysterio figure and Hurricane there. Those are some awesome figures. Let's get some more light going on over here. As you can see, CM Punk there, awesome figure. Heart Dynasty, you know, I'm getting puffed from naming all these figures. You can see some empty boxes at the back there. William Regal Elite. Very nice figure there. Got some UFC figures in the back, some smaller ones. I don't know why I have them. And then we got the Ruthless Aggression era here. Hogan, awesome attire, love that figure. Undertaker, very cool. We got Dominic there next to Rey Mysterio and SummerSlam attire. Chavo, Eddie, Rob Van Dam. Ooh, the old school Ruthless Aggression era. This is my favorite shelf because this is what I grew up on. These guys, these characters I can see. Don't fall over Ric Flair from WrestleMania 24 Custom. Oh God, they're all falling. Oh God, my worst nightmare come true. All right, there we go, fixed it. But yeah, Ruthless Aggression, um, just, yeah, nice little breeze over there. Up the very top, few Eddie Guerreros, expensive as fuck Eddie Guerrero there. Punisher, Custom Ray, Shane gonna do some crazy dive as he normally does. Custom, Nick Gage, Stardust, Goldust, Undertaker, Nexus, Wade Barrett, the Wyatt family. You know, it's just a random shelf up that very top there. And then we come down here, just some random stuff. I'll move this out of the way. Just a box 
of Rey Mysterio Basics. If anyone remembers that, like, shout out to you. Awesome set. Um, new in box still, Sergeant Slaughter. I don't know what I'm doing with that. And then, of course, we got this box. We got some Primes. Shout out Prime. It tastes like garbage. Let's be real. It's not very nice. And then this is my box of ECW and Rey Mysterio. So I got, like, Rey Mysterio... There, we got Sandman Custom, Tommy Dreamer Custom, the Dudley Boys, Terry Funk. It's just a box of... Fig oh, and Seth Rollins. i got a lot of Seth Rollins in here as well. Just, I have no room on my shelves to put them, so they just are sitting down there. And then, of course, if we turn our lights back around the way they're supposed to... Jeez, that's bright. And this one, if it wants to turn around... We've got these boxes here, which I'm not going to dive into because they're falling apart. It's just like figures that are old and I have no room for. There's a random Wolverine there. This shelf is literally falling apart. There's Fortnite figures in there across here. All my accessories and weapons. Some more. That's pretty new, recent. Just no room on the shelf for it. EO Sky there. Again, yeah, all my women's figures in there. I have no room for them. Alright guys, so that is my wrestling figure collection as you can see behind me. If you want more in-depth depth looks at any specific shelves, let me know in the comments down below and I can do that. I tried to keep this as quick as I can and it's already over 10 minutes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see the shelves up close and personal. Until next time, this is your boy Suplex Network. Signing off. Peace.